Buenos dias. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. We are wide awake and raring to go. Actually, not bad. Almost nine. We went to bed just after midnight last night because yeah. we partied so hard and got to bed like eight. <laughs> First world problems. Uh, it's but, nice though. Yeah, we're going to head up to the buffet, get yep. some breakfast, and then we are in beach mode. Woohoo! Specifically, I Is think we're beach? going in ocean mode today. Actually, the beach. Yeah, it's yeah. finally calmed down. It looks like Dee said she peeked out there and it looks like the red flags are gone. They haven't replaced them yet, but I think they took them down. It's the flattest we've seen it since we've been here. Yeah. Guys. So we're excited. So today and tomorrow look like really good calm days. Yes, that's why we came. No. <laughs> Just to go in that ocean. No, I love the pools too. Don't get me wrong. But, yeah. you know, fish. <laughs> that's true. All right, let's go eat some fish. No, some chilaquiles. <laughs> and have breakfast. Sounds good. Come on, we're going to have a day. It's going to be nice. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> No. It's chila kile time in my belly. <laughs> I have started with my traditional chila quiles. This is the guajillo variety with the cream and the cheese on top. I got the panela cheese, mashed potatoes for breakfast, because why not? And some vegetable fajitas, because I needed some vegetables in my life. But then I found the bread station. So I got a waffle, a french toast, a crepe, and a little thing that they were calling a churro. It's the flat fried bread. Peanut butter on top. They also had a syrup with some bananas. And I just went B-A-N-A-N-A-S, I tell you. D has gone to the omelet station, of course. And you've got all kinds of cool looking fruits over there. No idea wow. what they are. <laughs> all right. You also went to the bread station. Got some peanut butter and honey looking sauce and some yogurt. Oh my gosh, y'all, there's a giant bird over there. What the heck, we're done with breakfast now. Heading to the beach. Yeah, we never really did fully figure out what this downstairs area is here by the lobby, but I do see a sign or uh, inside the door anyway that says spa. So I'm gonna say it is a spa area. Oh gosh, he's checking it out. Oh, I see, they have like some tub things. Some cool seating options. Oh yeah, Bahia Spa right inside the door. We've got like a little tranquil area over here to sit and you can listen to this nice little trickly. Oh, there's even a man there that's on the sign that's telling me, shh. This is a quiet zone. How pretty. Oh, good. I had not noticed that there were wave breaks up at this beach. We're hitting the beach by the central pool just to see what it's doing. I keep tripping over little boards. So the red flag is still flying on this part of the beach and there are actually a lot of rocks down that way. And then I see there's sort of a buoy line separator and down this way where they have all the chairs and stuff, the yellow flag is flying. Hey, also Deed, she just left me. She ran all the heck away from me. So it's time for beach mode. I think I left my sunglasses in the room, but you know, I had to do it at least once. At least once I'll forget my sunglasses. You can wear mine. That's fine, I'd be all right. No, 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 no. You can't see out of me. First official beach mode at the resort. Yeah, we were hearing people saying the water was chilly. And rocky, so I'm glad I wore my water shoes today. Well, very shallow out here. Lots of rocks, but maybe she can see some stuff out by these wave breaks. She's getting ready back there. Yeah, I gotta see if I can find enough water to get down in out here. It's shallow. I'm expecting to see both Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga out here in the shallows. It's that shallow. She found friends already. Okay, it's a good sign. They knew you were coming today. I called ahead. <laughs> I finally see yellow flag, yellow flag, all the way down this side of the beach. It's a good sign. So I am not so much swimming as I am standing on my knees. Do you call it standing? It's called kneeling, isn't it? Kneeling in the water. Still can't quite get my shoulders in all the way, but it's refreshing. <laughs> Now, Miss Mermaid, she's probably going to try to swim up there in between that crack and see what she can see. Because she is a crack swimmer, I tell you.
gosh, I was just sitting here minding my business and here came a mermaid swimming right by me. <laughs> What's the report? You made a few friends. I saw one. Okay. Yeah, I saw, oh, angelfish. I didn't see that one. I saw one like white and black fish swim by. It is super shallow. Super shallow. But, I mean, the snorkeling area is pretty good actually. We saw a variety of fish, so. Okay. Not disappointed. And then our beach, I mean, I can literally see all the way right there is the building that has the food truck and the stuff in it. So it's not actually that far. I mean, I, I should have figured as much. So. <laughs> Reposition myself a little closer down here to where the waves are coming in. Dee is exploring some rocks and finding some aggressive little boogers, apparently. Yeah, I've seen a few of the like the ones that were in Grand Turk that time that kept nibbling my booty. This one. Oh yeah, it's like sort of white and roundish with the little black fins. Yeah, I don't know. They just they like to eat people. That's all I know. Dee has got her H2 Go water shoes. I'm still rocking my A-leaders or however you say them. They're not necessarily great for wide-footed people, which is me. I'm a wide-footed people. After walking around the park yesterday, I kind of got a little uh, scraped on about three of my toes, so I have Band-Aids on them today. I put the Band-Aids on and then put my shoes on, so hopefully less rubbing today. Might have to investigate a slightly better, I don't know, I might try to get a water shoe like she has, kind of like a full rubber croc thing that might not be so abrasive on my feet. I've also got fin socks, like I ever wear fins, but we bought fin socks, so I wonder if I got rubber type water shoes and wore fin socks with them. I'd probably look like a dork, but you know what? I'd be a comfortable dork. Random story time with Jay. I forgot, to, um, the day after I had my uh, bathroom visit from the cleaning uh, lady, Dee also, she was just in there using the bathroom and the lady just comes right in. Dee was drying her hands at the hair dryer and she said the lady just started mopping the floor like mop, mop, mop right over top of her shoe. So, moral of the story, if you're in the bathroom and they need to clean it, they're gonna clean right over top of you. They'll clean you and they'll clean that bathroom. So don't worry, you might come out cleaner than you went in. Or she might just come in there and watch you pee. I don't know. I don't know the moral of the story. I... Yeah. Oh, she is all the way down there. You see her way down there? She probably is going to end up in front of what I would call our beach. Because we were thinking we would swim here at this beach a little while, get back out, trade our towels back in, go to our beach and swim. But you know what? <laughs> she could knock the whole thing out right now. <laughs> She looked like she was swimming with intent, like she had something exciting to tell us. I'm not sure. No? Okay, you were just pad, pad, paddling on back down here. Huh? <laughs> no, it's just aggressive. Little booger fish. Uh, booger fish? We don't like booger fish. Turn around and they're like, really? <laughs> really? <laughs> like, okay. And you turn around and swim away and they'd still be following him. They're probably right behind me. Probably. Don't bring them down here to me. <laughs> he is reporting in with a baby stingray. Do 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 baby sting no there's not there's not any good songs about baby sting race.
Why are you seeing all the stuff and things out here? I don't know who's the eagle raid. It was the, hello, green turkey. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're, they're friends. <laughs> um, so it was like, you know, yay big. And it was just kind of covered up and I looked and I could see the shape and then it blinked and I could see it moving and then uh -oh. I caught it swimming away and hiding under a rock. It was like that big and I think it had spots. It's so good. I love snorkeling so much. You just don't know what you're gonna see. Sometimes you just have to kind of wait and see if something moves and that's where you catch the cool stuff because a lot, they blend in really well to the thing. Yeah, these little, uh, what I like to call Grand Turk fish, they keep bumping into my legs. Y'all boys better quit it. Y'all little nibble nibblers. Oh, hey, I came down here closer to the buoys and the edge of the rock uh, break thing and I actually found some water that is uh, kind of deep enough for me to get down in. Oh yeah, now I can do a proper Bahia Principe Grand Tulum Ocean Spin. Man. Wow, Dee was filming all my fishy foot friends and they kind of came after her, so she's like, no. She's going to put, put, put right over here. She's going to film my friends again. All right, tell me what they're doing. Wow. Uh. <laughs> oh gosh, look at me. <laughs> she is not a fan of the new fish army. She's off to hunt fish footage in peace again. We'll let fish army not chase her around for now. Apparently I am the attractor of the bumpy fish. The n nudgy, nudgy fish. You spotted a new fish. A what? One from Pointing Nemo. Oh. Which is weird because that's Australia. Yeah, well, you would think that would be like a Pacific uh, kind of thing. The pointier nose one. Kind of black and white, black and yellow, whatever. Black and yellow. Black and yellow. Black and, and, yellow. and white. I don't think it's like brown Nemo. I can't remember. Right. Kind of like are gill. Are still there? They are. And they only like shoes because they only come after me if I put my feet down. Oh, and your feet are down now, so. Well, I'm also on rocks. So uh, oh, yeah, no, there's there's, there's my army. <laughs> Get her. No. Vamanos. She's making her way outside. She better watch them waves. Who knows what she might see out there. It's a whole new world. Yeah, she turned around. That's probably a good idea. All right, I guess we're going to call an end to water mode for now. Oh gosh, Dee is up here partying with my friends. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. And we're gonna head up to the pool bar and see what is happening. All right, Ocean. Foot wash. <laughs> yeah, we'll find us a foot wash. Head up to the pool well. Ooh, walking on sand makes for shaky footage. Let's see what fanciness we're gonna get here at the bear. We brought our cups. All right, we got our Bahia storms ready to go. Time to hit the pool. At least there's no aggressive fish in the pool. <laughs> I hope. Ooh, looks like they do have the lower bar open. I just saw him serving a blended frozen drink to somebody down here. They just got done with darts as a poolside activity. Now we have water polo in the pool. Day is beautiful. Yas. Oh gosh, it's party time. It's dancing with D time. I don't know what she's teaching us today, but it looks like this. Latin music. <laughs> Latin dances. Z Zumba. <laughs> yeah. Zumba, essentially. Oh, they are assembling an aqua Zumba class. D is going to do some aqua Zumba. She's, I know she's gonna put those dancing with D skills to the test. Yeah, you got it, you got this. I think she survived. 
Así que no se aleje. Oh, they're getting ready to do the crazy game out here. How'd you do, Miss Ma'am? Oh, you're that tired now. Tiring. That was wow. really good. I needed that. It's nice. um, that was no joke. It's like the water gives you even more like. It's resistance. I think it's like it's easier to work out in the water, but then there's actually a lot more resistance than you would be used to. With True. Guys. Baseball for who? Uh, it appears to be basketball again. He said baseball. No, I don't see a hoop on that bad boy. Huh. Maybe you have to hit it and knock a certain target on. Well, we might be in a bad zone. <laughs> might not gonna stay here. Ah, there's a hole. Okay. Clever. So there's a catcher. You have to put it right into the catcher's glove. Okay, that's hard. Maybe it's a throwing game, not a hitting game. Okay, looks okay, like you yeah. throw a tennis ball. Good. We have uh, the champion gets uh, open bar with beer at uh, the lobby bar. <laughs> Everybody gets nice. that. What a prize. Child, of course. Oh yeah, what if a child wins and he has to hold up? Three smoothies. That's right. Una, dos, y... No matches. A ver, vamos. Oh, oh, oh! Well, that's not how the game's supposed to go. Um, wow. Wow. Mamma <laughs> mia. Uh, Imagine when we get a hurricane. When there's an hurricane. Oh, nice. OK, dale tres, ahora tres. All right, pool mode is done. It was raining a little bit, so I've actually stayed in GoPro mode <laughs> to help with the water. It's kind of stopping now. But we're going to return the towels and head over to lunch. Hola, Iguana. Wow, you're a... I mean, you're a hefty boy. You're a hefty boy. Oh, you're not scared at all. Hey, you're... you're um, hey. Can I pet you? No. Do we have to pay a toll to come by? Because <laughs> you sure are wanting to block our wow. path. Wow. He's just chilling. All right. Oh, he's big. Bye. He's like, I gotta go. Oh, he had to go see that little Iguana over there by the cart. Aw, so cute. They're friends. <laughs> okay, bye. Oh, gosh, he's coming he's with us. Fast. He's like, wait, you're going to the food truck. Yeah, he knows. We're heading to the food truck. You're going to give me a french fry? Mm -hmm. What do we want today from the truck? We would like some English, por favor. So, what have we not tried? I know there are wraps. There is like a Reuben sandwich. Yeah. See, we've done the hamburgers. We've done, we haven't done a hot dog, but that's no. okay. Chili, burritos, Reuben's. Wrap All right, so you want a chicken wrap? I'll try a Reuben sandwich it just because we haven't. Promise. It probably like it does. does. So All right, um, I might want a little burrito for my face too. I'm gonna get a chicken burrito for my face. And I don't think I need a baked potato, so we'll just do a chip and salsa and a guac. All right, that'll work. And then I'm gonna get an ice cream. Okay, beautiful. Yes. Our order is being prepared. I still like this place. This is a nice, fast concept. And you can always grab and go if you're in like a super hurry. Pretty tasty. So we got our chips as usual. We got a chicken wrap, which is a little on the small side, but it's cute. It's cute. Um, the burrito is actually bigger than the standard burritos we've been getting. So burrito got upsized today. And a Reuben sandwich, which kind of just looks like a block of aluminum foil. So, <laughs> cool. <laughs> All right, I opened the foil. It's a marbled uh, type of a bread. It actually just kind of looks like ham. So I think they've, uh, yeah, I think they've just gone ham sandwich on sort of maybe like a marble rye. So that is their Reuben. Hmm. So pretty good. I think we've almost completed the menu here at the truck. <laughs> so the Reuben, it was, it was a ham sandwich, but it was a good ham sandwich. It had like lettuce and some nice toppings and stuff on it. We tried to pop up and check out the ice cream machine, but they don't have ice cream today. I don't know if they've either just run out or it's just closed. So maybe we can get some, you know, maybe we can try the ice cream tomorrow, but oops. They do have like the grab and go cookie and brownie and stuff up there, but we were we were in the mood for ice cream, but you know what? It's all right. It's all good. Todo bien. All good. Todo bien. Um, I learned that one. Yeah, so now we're just chilling, <laughs> done with lunch. Yeah. I guess we might get in some more water. Because <laughs> I think the rain is holding off. So yeah. I think it's nice. It seems to have stopped. Yeah. All right. All right, now we're going to come hop in this pool over here by our room, which I call our pool, conveniently enough. 
We had not yet found the towel station over here, but we asked, and I believe he said it is behind this little beverage bar. So we're gonna go see if we can locate the towel place over here. I guess we'll see. So here is the beverage station. We are going to look around the back side of this. Clever, here on the other side are the towels that we could never find. I guess we'll take a peek here at the kids' splash park while there are currently no kids playing on it. They got like this nice little swimmy area. You have the little tiki heads up there that dump buckets on you. Couple of slides. D, of course, is a child. You should come down one of these slides. Oh gosh, wow. Well, that's how that works. That's called how you get your new towels all wet. Yeah, they're not wet. Now. It feels good, actually. Yeah, that's a cool little play area. Super cute. I love the wide slide. They just built all this. Yeah, this is new. Because Cova used to be like the big kid area. Ah. And now they made Tulum even more family friendly. That's awesome. I love it. Kind of peek around the back side of the structure, I guess. Uh, well, looks like you do most of your entering from the front, probably, but there's some little waterfalls and features here on the back side. Anyway, it is time for pool mode. There are a few gray clouds in the sky, but we're hoping that they hold off. Oh, yeah. Don't bring us any bad weather, so. Swim time, part, I don't know, three? Gosh. Yeah, I think. Mm. Yeah, we'll see how refreshed this is. We'll go ahead and commit to it. Oh, that face? Okay, well, the face said otherwise. It's a little cold on the belly. Right? Yeah, okay. we left your float in the room, but that's all right. Okay. You'll have to actually swim on your own merits. No, I don't know how. Never. Or anything. No. Mm. William? Our room's really close. So we gotta run for it. We're not that far. <laughs> We're already wet, but you know, you gotta yeah. be careful of lightning and thunder. See? Oh, the rains have come. We're trying to decide if that's thunder we're hearing in the distance or not. Music. I'm not sure. It might be. We'll just say, We're just it's, gonna mu say it's music. It's music for now. I don't want to get out. <laughs> Man. But, you know, we will do it. Soon, uh, obviously. Yes. So it's only about three o'clock. We got a lot more time to kill. This is the most relaxing ever. It's really relaxing. I'm sleeping. It's like 4 02. It and has the been, sun is shining, so it's nice. It's been so many hours since we like talked <laughs> to y'all. I mean, we had just been chilling. This is what vacation is now. And this place is amazing. Look, there is literally. Two other people in the pool way yeah, over there. Yeah, there's nobody That's here. It. Nice. Looks like it's all blue skies for now. Perfect. So, yeah, we'll be in here another, I don't know, day and a half. Two and hours. Then <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, the sun has slowly gone down. Actually, it got eaten up by that cloud over there before it could go behind the building. But anyway, time to get out of the water. <laughs> I hear a strange creature. Uh, what is? <laughs> so cold. Oh, it's the freezing D. So the sun went down and it's freezing. It is. I kinda. mean, it's breezy, so it's not freezing, but it's really cold. I'm completely wrapped up. <laughs> yeah, it's chilly out here. <laughs> Y'all, it is. The sun went down and burr. I'm seeing all the burrs now. Burr. Ooh. All right. Well, we're gonna dry up a little bit. Yeah. Go back to the room. Get ready for dinner. If anything exciting happens, we'll let you know, but we'll see how after a while. Psst. Good Hola. night. It's dinner time. Why do I say good night? Good uh, evening, y'all. It's <laughs> just dinner time. We're going to go up to the buffet. Yeah. So we've got one more a la carte dinner tomorrow, but tonight we're buffeting it up. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm excited. They, they usually have the maker and pasta station. Mm -hmm. I think All that's kinds of good do. stuff. Yeah. Maybe. All right. right. You know what? You never know what we're gonna do. I might get a big old taco or something. You probably will. Some nachos. <laughs> anyway, let's go. And then there's like a show later. Mm -hmm. There's a magical show. Magical. And then a very famous band is coming to perform in the lobby later. Apparently. So we'll have to talk about it. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. No, it's funny when you look at the schedule. Normally it would say like, you know, the acoustic group mm -hmm. is playing or the trio or the marimba. It says ABBA is playing tonight. Like legit. Abba is now, coming to the resort. Like the talent here in Bahia has been amazing, but I That's don't true. think they have enough to actually coming. get Abba here. Not but we'll actually. see. They could surprise hey, us. They if, could be here. If Abba in all their like 70, 75 year oldness comes up in and starts singing <laughs> like, Super Trooper, I'm gonna be excited. I only really know the songs from Mamma Mia and Mamma Mia too. That's so fine. Bad. That's like 10, 12 songs. You're fine. Yeah, 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 I'm good. All right, let's go. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a group around here singing Abba. Whatever. That'd we'll be see. Cool. We'll see. Anyway, let go. <laughs> see ya. Bye. Bye. Better 
group up here called Duetto, which is a violin and keyboard duo. Hello. Wow. They have so many different like groupings of music. Yeah. Oh, that's right. <laughs> You know what I mean, groupings of musical entertainers. Like there was a duo, there's a trio, there's an acoustic group, there's, I don't know, all kinds of entertainment. ABBA themselves is coming later. Gosh, can hardly believe it. Look at that store. We have not been in there yet. It's so quiet and empty in here. Oh, well, there's a lady, but anyway, <laughs> it's quiet. She might've been a worker, I'm not sure. So we got our Mexico corner. Let's go ahead and head back to the pasta station. Let's get you some pasta. Yeah, so this should be your made to order pasta. You choose your sauce, your add-ins, your noodles. So rotini with tomato sauce, shrimp, and peas. Mm -hmm. All right, a and a little cheese focaccia. We got a dessert plate to share. They had lemon tarts and brownies and somewhere on there, there was, oh, this little guy back here, I think it said it was a pistachio. Pistachio something or other, panna cotta maybe. I just got a bunch of mess. I don't even know what I got. Cauliflower, meat, more meat, and more meat. All right, since this is our last night at the buffet dinner, I had to go try everything. So I went back in and got, this is called Asia meets Mexico. So they had a Mongolian wok station, but actually over there he had a lot of stuff pre-ready to go. So I just got some rice and chicken that was pre-done. Uh, I put something else under there, but I forgot what it was. Oh, it was a vegetable chop suey. And I got nopal from the Mexican station, which is the cactus and a tamale. And of course these little um, crackers. I know that taste like hominy or they taste, yeah, they're good. <laughs> All is quiet. Well, I do kind of hear a keyboard. So it's just ahead of eight o'clock. We're gonna go hang out in the lobby bar and listen to Duetto. They do have what they call the Sea of Adventure show again tonight, which was the non-branded Polynesian warrior girl show. But we saw that already. So I think we're gonna listen to live music. And then there's a magic show at nine o'clock. Mexico in Mexico. Ooh. And the band went on a break and now there's a sereke party in here. You know Dee loves a good sereke party. Oh my gosh. No! It will not fit in that little purse. Uh-uh. No. Oh my gosh, what's going on? All right. <laughs> Duetto is back. Yeah, the Sorekas are just here to listen to Duetto. Oh my gosh, he loves this song. This is his jam. Yes. All right, onward. Are you ready for some magical entertainment? I have no idea what to expect other than the unexpected. And welcome to the Atumal Lobby Bar. Whoop, whoop. My name is Julio. We are, we, we are making a tribute for ABBA dancing. I thought it was the real ABBA. Man, all right. <laughs> ABBA singers are looking good for their age. They did not look a day over 68. They were like in their 20s. Oh, well, okay. I would say. Hey, all hey, hey. Of this talent is amazing. It's really cool to see everybody they bring in and all the different groups, too. So yeah. I'm enjoying it. All right, we're heading back to the room so Dee can warm up. It is chilly tonight. Oh, this skeet are just bit my butt. No, wow. <laughs> Do you mind? I'm just telling you. 
<laughs> Good night. Buenas tardes. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Wait, no, no. Buenas Buenas tardes. Tardes. Afternoon. Well, or the know, thing Doctor Who flies people, around in. If you're watching it. <laughs> oh yeah. Happy TARDIS. <laughs> no. So we're back in the room. Yeah. And we're going to bed. It's 11. We just went to an ABBA concert. <laughs> no, it was really good. That's, That's all the words we have to say about tonight. <laughs> Too tired. So we're going to sleep. Yeah. And we'll see y'all tomorrow. More fun day. Yeah. The last full One day. More fun we day. won't sit talk. Don't talk about it. It's fine. It's okay. All right. Good night. See y'all tomorrow. Come on back now. Buenas noches. Okay. <laughs> Buenas tardes. <laughs> Buenas.